Two years from today, a massive chunk of Indiana will experience a total solar eclipse. Right now, cities within the path of totality are already planning for the flood of visitors expected to pour into Indiana. Tonight, our Rachel Krause caught up with tourism officials in Bloomington to talk about their plans to witness this once in a lifetime event. We're really going to make this a fun event. The countdown is on to the next total solar eclipse and the folks at Visit Bloomington are already planning. But we've been actively preparing for the 2024 eclipse since last summer. They're part of a planning committee working with university researchers, astronomers, city and county leaders to make sure they find the best viewing spot for the thousands of visitors they expect to see and create fun activities for them to do when they're in town. Already, there's demand. And since we've already had visitors contacting us, asking about hotel rooms and activities and events that will be surrounding um, the, the total eclipse event that's gonna be happening in Bloomington, we knew that it was a big deal and that there were gonna be a lot of visitors anxious for information early, so we wanted to get as much of a head start as possible. This is the first total solar eclipse coming over Indianapolis in 819 years. So that's why this is a special event. In Bloomington, they'll get a little over four minutes of totality. Here in Indianapolis, for three minutes and 49 seconds, the sun will be fully blocked by the moon. Pictures don't do it justice at all. Uh, seeing it live, seeing it happen, seeing the sun disappear, and seeing the corona of the sun suddenly appear with this black, dark spot in the middle is absolutely amazing. Brian Murphy, director of the Holcomb Observatory and Planetarium, says most Hoosiers won't have to travel to get into the path of totality. But if you're outside that path, get there. We're just outside that line of totality to say, well, it's going to be 99% eclipse here. What's 1%? It's 0% of totality, which is the most spectacular astronomical event anyone can see. Okay, I can literally say that as an astronomer. So even two years out to the big day, Murphy says start planning where you want to watch the eclipse now and be ready to move in case of clouds. It's something you won't want to miss. See it. If you have any chance to get in that path of totality, see the, see the total eclipse. It's and these wow. solar eclipses are so special. People travel all around the world just to be able to witness these every few years. Really special that this is going to be coming over Indianapolis. Yeah, more than 800 years. That's crazy. And we've got kind of the map, the map of totality, and we're going to have to narrow this down so that we don't miss it because, as the astronomer said, you don't want to be in 99%. You want to be in total totality, if that's even a thing. Yep, absolutely. And he said just a 20 mile difference can make a whole difference between being able to see the corona of the sun and totally missing it entirely, just seeing that partial solar eclipse. And you want to be able to see the corona. You want to be able to see the full thing. That is so exciting. And I found it interesting as I did a, a little research of my own that it's going to last almost four minutes. Yes, that's a lot longer than we saw back in 2017 with the totality there by about a minute and a half longer. So a lot more chance to see better viewing conditions. And we just got to hope for for a clear sunny day. Good weather we can hope <laughs> in two years from now and we're gonna have lots of visitors. Rachel, thank you so much. Thank you.